What are we going to learn today? Let's take a look at the topic. The properties of soluble and insoluble materials are completely different from each other. Soluble materials are those that dissolve in water and insoluble materials do not dissolve in water. Let me tell you in detail. Let us take a glass filled with water. Then add a spoonful of sugar into the water. Then stir it properly with a spoon. After some time we will see that the sugar is dissolved into the water and it becomes a transparent solution. Now take another glass and put some oil and water in that glass. Then stir the mixture of oil and water. After some time we will see that the oil won't dissolve in water. It will just float on top of the water. So this is the difference between soluble and insoluble materials. Let's see the next topic. Now we will discuss about transparent, translucent and opaque materials. First, what are transparent materials? We all have glass windows in our house. It is an example of transparent material as we can see through them clearly. Another example is water glass which is transparent to all visible light. Water is also an example of transparent materials as we can see through it clearly. Second, translucent materials. A translucent material is an object that we are not able to clearly see through, like a frosted glass, as it allows only some light to pass through it. Another example, you must have seen partition walls in different offices. Frosted glass are used to make those walls. We can see through them, but the vision will be cloudy and fuzzy. These are translucent materials. Third is opaque materials. Rock is an example of an opaque material. Can we see through a rock? No. Another example is wood. It also doesn't allow any light to pass through, which means we cannot see through it. These materials are called opaque materials. So we have discussed about transparent, translucent and opaque materials. Each of these materials have different properties. So this was all about sorting materials into groups.